welcome and welcome back to this channel. If you are new here, my name is Tony. This is Business Life with Tony. I am a home service agency administrator. I became licensed in January, and so I pretty much just kind of bring you all videos. If you have any questions um, and you leave them in the comment section, I bring you the videos. Um, I do like a dedicated video to answer your questions. And besides that, I just kind of make random videos um, as I think of things for myself that may be helpful for others. So if this is something that you're interested in, please consider subscribing. Um, basically, this video is kind of based on you thinking that you're ready. So you think you're ready, but you're not sure. You wanna double check. You wanna run it by somebody um, just to double check. And maybe you are ready, but you just keep running things through your head because you don't wanna run into something. Um, and kind of just doubting yourself. So I'm gonna take it from the beginning and hopefully this helps somebody. So you think you're ready and basically what we need is a caregiver and a client. We have to match them. So before we even do that, we have to have our systems in place. We have to have our files together. In one of the previous videos, I showed you all how I have my files already ready in a folder. So as soon as I get a caregiver, that caregiver gets a folder. As soon as I get a client, that client gets a folder. So everything that they need is in here. All I have to do is show up to do the home assessment. All the papers are here. I'm going, getting them signed, checking out the home to make sure it's safe for my caregivers, making sure it's even safe for the clients, and then just making some recommendations. So um, if we see the carpet is like pulled back a little bit or something like that, I could just make a suggestion. Like, so I would recommend getting rid of that or I would re recommend getting something that's gonna help it so that it doesn't pull back and then we're at risk of the senior slipping and falling or tripping or anything like that. Um, so I'll make recommendations. Um, if there's anything that needs to be done, I'll let them know this has to be done before my caregiver can even step foot in here. Um, so now that the client is taken care of, I have everything I need for them. I could set that aside, I'm going to get my, well, first of all, you should be getting a caregiver first. <laughs> Clients are typically not gonna wait, so you definitely wanna have caregivers first. Um, so gonna get my caregiver folder out. We're gonna meet wherever we meet, if that's your office, if that's the library, if that is wherever you typically meet at. Um, so I already have my onboarding here for them. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up, get everything signed, make sure they understand. If you wanna do things separately, so if you wanna have an interview and then have an orientation, or if you know you're gonna hire them because they turn in all the requirements, everything looks good. Um, you talk to them, you talk to their references. Um, on my application, I have references, references listed. So if you're doing all of this work before you even meet for the interview, you may know that you're ready to hire them and you may be ready to just, you know, what do you think if I offer you the position now, would you be interested? And they say, yeah, then you could go ahead and do um, your hiring process. You could go ahead and do a little bit of the orientation and maybe you only have training to do later. So once I get all of these things signed, I'm gonna go back to my office with all my paperwork and I'm gonna make sure I get these things where they need to be. One of the examples that I'm gonna use is for the caregivers. The I-9 does not go in the caregiver folder. It goes in a separate folder. So I'm gonna make sure I take that out of here if that's something they've already signed. Um, same thing with the caregivers. If there's any, uh, sorry, same thing with the clients. If there's anything in the client's folder that they signed for me that doesn't belong in here, I'm gonna put it somewhere else. If I have, have something that I need to make copies of for whatever reason, um, I'm going to make sure that I do that as well. Um, so just making sure that these, these documents that I have possession of now, I'm not gonna just take them and put them in my lock file cabinet. I'm gonna go through them, sort them, and make sure everything that's there is there, everything is signed. Um, make sure whoever was supposed, was supposed to sign is signed where they were supposed to sign at, that there's no line skip. So it could be um, the client and it could be their responsible, responsible party, make sure I sign. Um, so just making sure those things are done. And then um, 
like I said, just making sure everything gets where it's supposed to go. So that's that part. So now we have our documents, we have our caregiver, we have our client, they're a perfect match. We have all the paperwork that we need. We're back in the office. We're sorting things out. We're putting them away in their respective places. Um, that's gonna help us be organized for state rec regulations and just keeping everything clean, simple, and up to date. So that part is done. Also, when you go to the client's home, you may be accepting a payment. So I'm going to recommend that you have some type of bookkeeping up and running, ready to go, or um, you know, at your access, you know who you're gonna go with at least. Um, so some type of bookkeeping system, some way to accept payments. Once you get those funds from the client, where are they going to go? Are you going to put it in the office in the lock file cabinet? Are you going to sit it in your desk? Is it going to go in your purse? Is it going to go in your glove compartment? Like, where are you going to put those funds at? So making sure that you have your bank account, at least knowing who you're going to go with. Um, and I wouldn't wait till the last minute to do that. Um, so establish your bank where you're going to go. Establish how you're going to set up your account. So is money going to be drafted from this account? Is money going to only go into this account? Are my bills going to be drafted from this account? Do I want to set my payroll up from this account? So making sure that when the funds come in, you know where they're going, you know how you're going to separate it, what percentage goes here, what percentage goes there, already having that you know established. And so that's also the next point payroll so um knowing who you're gonna have for payroll making sure you already have that set up sometimes um i've heard a company tell me i've actually heard three two in one week um so they kind of need all of the information from me and then they'll be able to get payroll up and running within three two and one weeks so already knowing who you're going to go with maybe already having majority of it set up um and then you just give them a call and then they could have it up and running for you when you need it. So if you start from scratch and you have a client that is wanting to start in three days, um, you may or may not be able to get things up and running with that payroll system right away. So just already know who you wanna go with, talk to them, see what, see what you need to get in. So now you've, you're receiving your payment from your client. Um, your money is going to go into your business bank account. You already know once that money goes into that account, it's gonna come out for payroll to pay that caregiver. Um, and the rest of it, you know, okay, my bills are gonna come out of here as well for maybe my email, my website, um, rent, uh, whatever bills that you have that may come out of there. Um, so that is a system. So you have to figure that out for your agency. What does that look like for your agency? The next thing I'm gonna say is make sure you have insurance. So there's the insurance that is mandatory with pretty much every state um, as far as I'm concerned, unless it's unregulated, but even if it's not, you definitely wanna have insurance. So I'm gonna say make sure you have your insurance ready to go um and because it's required if you have a license you probably already have it i'm talking about the other insurance so a surety bond um or if you want to do professional uh, insurance so just looking at those different types of insurances workers comp um so it's not recommended with the licensing that you have workers comp at the time of being licensed it's something that you can acquire afterwards so just making sure that if you said you're ready make sure you have your workers comp in place know who you're going to go with know what their rules are um, know what they cover know what they don't cover have all of your questions ready so that you're ready to go another thing i'm going to mention um, as far as workers comp goes make sure you ask them if i post um posters or if i do a safety countdown so sometimes i've seen places that i've worked for in the past they'll do like 30 days of no injuries um so ask if you put those things in place or if you're not getting any injuries for six months or for a year, um, if they have any incentives, if they can bring the rates down a little bit, uh, if they have promotions or anything like that, um, that could be in place for somebody who has an agency that's pretty overall, you know, they're being safe. So yeah, just talk to whoever you're talking to for the workers comp and just ask them if there's anything that you can do in the office, if it's posters, if it's 
um, incentives for your employees, which makes it a safer experience um, and less likely to have to file a claim. If there's any incentive that they can in turn give your agency or promotion or discount. Another thing I'm gonna mention is dates. So just somewhere in your office, if it's a notebook, if it's on a wall, if it's on the calendar, um, I would always go ahead and fill dates in. So if somebody is hired today, you wanna make sure that, that you have on your calendar or that paper or their folder, that's something you have to do for like quality assurance. So um, just wherever you feel comfortable putting it and know that you're gonna be checking those, put like the anniversary date of the caregivers because then they have to do what? They have to do training. Um, or maybe they need to update their CPR card. Maybe it's expiring on this day. So you wanna make sure you have those things listed so that you can contact them well before then so that all of your files are always updated. If somebody's driver's license is expiring, um, insurance is expiring um, and same thing with the client as well you want to be checking annually to make sure everything still looks good making sure you're doing um, your evaluations and things like that have those dates already somewhere and keeping up with them there is software out there that will help you with this as well so you're not writing it down but you can actually have a system in place for it digitally um, so I, I personally feel like these are the things that I took a step back and I literally took it from the beginning and said, okay, if I have a caregiver and I have a client, what are we doing here? Where do we go from here? And every step of the way, you will kind of figure out like, oh, if I'm getting money, what do I do with my money? So, you know, I literally just took a step back and took it step by step. And those are the steps that I came out with. So I hope that was helpful to you. Anywho, thanks for tuning into this video. Please comment, like, share share and subscribe and i will see you in the next video thanks